This is Corey Willis with PVI, and you're listening to the Diesel Podcast. I'm Adam Blattenberg from Diesel World. Hi, this is Dan, owner of Dan's Diesel Performance. I'm Christian Roth of BD Diesel. I'm Braden Fleece, and you're listening to the Diesel Podcast. What is going on, Diesel Nation? We're excited to have you guys with us today on the Diesel Podcast. We've got Jeremy from Nitro Gear and Axle on, and he's going to get us caught up on some new products and install kits that they've got for Cummins Duramax and Power Stroke gear sets, and also some new ones that they've got for like the Colorado, the Canyon, and also the brand new Tacomas. So we know a lot of a lot of our listeners have different platform vehicles, off-road rigs, and, and you know tow tow setups and even performance trucks and gearing is an integral part of the drivability and, and upgrade process so we always enjoy chatting with jeremy about that we also wanted to ask him about the you know the the pandemic the the quarantine creating a safe work environment keeping parts shipping out the door and what nitro gear is is doing during this time and then we all love to save money and there's a huge sale that nitro gear has so I'm going to ask Jeremy about that, um, you know, what kind of discounts are available and, and things they have for truck owners and then also, you know, shop owners that are out there and ways they can get, uh, you know, gear sets in the truck, get that drivability back that we've talked about on the podcast before. All right, let's get to the episode with Jeremy and talking about Nitro Gear, some new products they got and a massive sale. Jeremy, welcome back to the Diesel Podcast. I, I'm excited to chat with you again. It's always really fun to talk gearing and diesel trucks and vehicles in general with with you and uh i've been seeing a lot of things on instagram and facebook that you guys have been working on and doing and wanted to catch up with you yeah yeah thanks for having us yeah it's, it's been a while so i'm uh excited to be back on again yeah i think i wasn't sure if it was the last time or the time before but we were talking about um gearing there was a a package for the super duties that you guys had to make things easier for installers and i wanted to see what what new stuff you guys have that you've either released or, or getting ready to for the cummins duramax power stroke even tacoma tundra owners that are out there right yeah lot, lots of new products um well ford super duties of course when they 17 when when the super duty went to the aluminum body we now have a 430 and 488 ratios for front and rear of your F-250, 350, and the 450s. So you can re-gear all those trucks. Um, our 11.8 gears that we make for your Ram, your Dodges, your Rams, and your Chevs and GMCs, it used to be that we just had the one ratio. Now we've actually got three. We've got a, a 410, a 430, a 456 with 488s like on the way soon also um you mentioned tacoma which is good because our our company has kind of focused on the whole toyota brand for several years and in fact we've been kind of the first one to to make gears for all these different vehicles going way back to the fj cruiser when it first came out uh, we were the first company to develop gears for those and and now we're the first company again for the 16 and up Tacoma, which a lot of those have a eight and three quarter rear. And uh, we do several different ratios for those Tacomas as well. What was really interesting is it wasn't very long ago, um, a listener had uh, emailed into us and said, Hey, I just found the podcast. I've been, you know, like power listening to them. And I listened to the one you do at Nitro Gear. And I do need to get gears for my F 250, but. I need them like right now for my Tacoma. So it was really cool to be able to, you know, hear how we we're talking about the principles of gearing and, and operating speeds and taking pressure off the transmission. And, and, uh, I know that's what, it's just a major trend where, you know, on these diesel trucks, we're, we're going to bigger tires. And I think all those choices that you guys have now with, with the multiple gear ratios are just going to accommodate you know, the aftermarket and what truck owners are doing with their trucks even more. Right. Right. Yeah. When, when, uh, when the, that Tacoma, my business partner, Carl went out and bought a new one, we actually stuck 488s in it when it was bone stock and, and it was like perfect. And we're like, man, why, why <laughs> does the factory put these gear ratios in there that, that doesn't put the RPM in its optimal range. Right. So, um, and the great thing about, when we did 488s in his stock truck is his fuel economy actually went up. 
from from stock so that was that was pretty amazing it's really interesting to hear as well feedback from or even comments on our on our youtube channel from your episodes where people will talk about going from the factory gear ratio to one of your aftermarket sets and the it, it reinforces everything you've told us on these podcasts about the improved drivability and how much more fun the truck is to drive and the benefits to it, it, it's become a lot more mainstream. I think when we first talked about gear changes on diesel trucks, we I had said, you know, it's usually the last thing that truck owners are thinking about. We're thinking about turbos and different injection pumps and injectors and all those things, but it's become more common. And I think the information that you've been providing on these episodes and, and the things you guys are putting out there on social media it's in our consciousness now. We're, we're thinking about it. We know, hey, we can improve the drivability with stock tires or a lot of trucks have aftermarket wheel and tire sets, and it makes such a huge difference. Right, right. And especially with the with the EPA cracking down and, you know, emission standards getting, getting more stringent. Uh, apparently, they were kind of relaxed a little bit here recently, but um, still – one big thing to know is that, you know, you can re-gear your truck, uh, whether it be a gas truck or a diesel truck, and pick up a lot of performance and, and still keep the truck legal, right? Whereas, you know, a lot of, you know, de well, deleting an exhaust kit or adding a tuner to do away with your DPF, of course, those days are gone. We don't get to do that stuff anymore. So, we can pick up that same performance gain by changing the gear ratio, which, you know, a lot of people don't realize that. Yeah, especially on the, the daily driving side or the part throttle side, which is where we spend most of the operating time in our vehicles. And that's, it's a mechanical change. So it's, it's always there. Yep. Yep. You had mentioned a, uh, you know, a bit about the, you know, the emission standards relaxing and just everything that's going on. And, and I wanted to ask you, you know, with, with, uh, you know, the, the pandemic and the situation with everything, there's a, a lot of shops and, and truck owners, most of us or all of us, we have more time at home. We have more time for projects that, you know, there's automotive repair shops that are essential and are, are working on things. And I wanted to ask you at Nitro Gear, what has it been like for you guys and what are some changes that you guys have made to accommodate everything that's going on you know in the world well we are we are very fortunate in the fact that we are considered one of these essential businesses because of the fact that we have repair parts and not just upgrade parts right mm -hmm. but to you know keep our staff safe we've We've let the salespeople and our marketing team kind of have the option of if you want to work from home, um, you can because our whole phone system is, you know, a voice over IP and everybody can log into their computer remotely, their phone remotely. So we kind of left them the option. Like if you choose to do this, that's great. And if you want to come into the office, then that's great too. Just Just keep it safe, right? Keep your – keep your work environment clean, you know, wipe down your desk, wipe down your keyboard and your mouse. And if you're touching doorknobs, you know, so in fact, we, we went and mounted like hand sanitizers, like all over our building. So there's, you know, I don't know, seven or eight of them mounted in the building so that they're, you know, readily accessible and, you know, just, I guess, doing what we can to keep everybody safe. Right. Cause the last thing we want is an employee, getting sick and then he gets everybody else sick right yeah yeah it's been incredible to see from you know manufacturers and automotive repair shops the, the focus that's been put on that that safe work environment and accommodating you know everything that's going on and and you guys are you're still shipping parts you know they're still i, I see them <laughs> i see people you know you tagging you guys or posting up that their projects they're working on and you're able to support you know, people that are working on their trucks or repairing them. Yeah, and and we definitely appreciate all that too. All all these people that are you know taking the the, the time that they have at home now to finish those vehicle projects is, you know, now's the time, right? That vehicle that's been sitting around, and you got the time. So give us a call. We'll set you up with what you need, and we really appreciate it when they when they tag us on those things too. You know, because it's uh, seeing those posts about 
you know, people working on their project to me is is a lot better than seeing every other post about the uh, coronavirus right now. You know, something something different. <laughs> oh yeah, I get this this email uh, over the weekend actually, and this listener. It was a really long email, but it was so cool because he's like, "Hey, I'm home. I've been wanting to do this stuff to my trucks. I've got." I think he had three phases of things he wanted to do. And he was he was telling me about all these different parts. Like he 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 needs a regear his truck. That was part of it. And this turbo kit that he wants and these other things. And he was just looking for guidance on, hey, is this the right way to do it? And you know, are these the phases? And it was just cool to take, you know, my mind off things and just think about this guy's truck and what he's doing. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually, you mentioned a turbo kit. That's interesting. I just got done putting uh, ATS compound turbos on my Ram. They've got a, like a 100%, uh, I guess you could say street legal compound kit for like 13 and up Rams. And holy cow, what a, what a difference that kit made on my truck. What, um, like as far as just driving it, you know, around, what kind of differences did you notice with it versus the stock VGT? Well, so I had... I had a, an aftermarket VGT turbo on it that had kind of that had went out after about oh three years being on the truck. So I went with the ATS upgraded VGT and the secondary turbo, and I mean it just woke the truck up. I mean it it was pretty modified before, but it just feels like you could literally pull a house or a train now with the thing, you know, you step on the gas and when you get into both of them, it, it just takes off like a rocket ship. <laughs> yeah. I think what's, I've seen some pictures of, of the kid and, and I think some videos that they've done as well. And it's been so cool to see how it, it, not just even with turbos with a lot of parts, how the aftermarket has shifted to be able to offer these kits where it doesn't, touch anything on the emissions control side of it it's just it's it's made to work around it and you know especially you know say if the vgt was good you didn't need to replace it it's you know you can just add the second turbo and all the piping and and there you go nice nice little weekend project yeah yeah and if, and of course my my ram is a 13 um it was 373 from the factory and i had changed it out to a 430 ratio in the past with my 37s and i mean with with that combo, with 37s, 430s, and twin turbos, you literally feel like you can tow the world with it. <laughs> I mean, I just got a, a brand new 2020 Ford. I've been holding out for one of these trucks with a 10 speed, and I, I love the truck, but I, I just don't know that I'm going to like towing with it as well as my Ram. Even though the Ram is so much older with all the mods done to it, it's just, I don't know that it's going to be the same. <laughs> is it with the gear ratios or is it way, is it with um, just the, the response that, that you feel if with like the fueling and the stock turbo and everything like that? Or Yeah, you know, you know, just, I don't know, a stock vehicle versus one that's kind of hopped up, right? With, you know, yeah. twins and injectors and that sort of stuff. I mean... You get you get kind of used to your modified truck and the way that it accelerates, and then you hop in something stock and and you know, granted, it's got a lot of power. It's just two completely different powers, right? One of them is you know just kind of all on, and the other one is is geared towards well longevity, reliability, and you know, in the aftermarket world, yeah, we want those things, but we also want loads of power, you know. <laughs> What was really interesting is in our last episode, we had talked with RevMax about the 10 speeds, the Ford and the Allison. And, that, and it was just so interesting to hear how different that transmission is than any of the other ones in a Ford or GM or a Ram. And it you know, worked in, in R&D that they're doing on it. It's very interesting transmission setup. And I know just there's a lot of interest around the 10 speed automatic and how it operates. And, and it's right. going to be the future of you know, probably Ram as well is just more more speed so it's kind of cool to see you know from the the ground up what impressions are of driving it and then also how the aftermarket accommodates and offers upgrades for, for the new platform I, I love the truck so far and i've always been like a diehard ram guy and you know my wife was kind of trying to talk me out of buying this new ford and and i thought well 
I'd be buying another Ram if it had a 10 speed, but I mean, it just, it's not there yet. So I'm like, well, if I wanted to keep my solid front axle. So it was, it was a Ford platinum was, was my choice. <laughs> they're really nice trucks and they're so interesting too. Like just with the engines and what they've done with the pistons and the way that the, the power stroke has progressed and then the transmission itself and everything, it's, it's it's a very interesting platform. It's a far cry from the old 6.0. <laughs> They've all come so far. It right. seems like quickly. I mean, it may not necessarily be quick, but you know, think back to like early mid two thousand trucks and you know what was nice, and then now it's like two totally different worlds of comfort, drivability, options, safety, everything. Yeah, two two completely different worlds hopping in my brand new Ford versus the the 13 Ram, you know. They're both nice, <laughs> but one's a lot more refined. Yeah, it's it's cool to hear some firsthand experience though about the, you know, having a 2020 and then also, you know, comparing it to an older truck where you've made upgrades to it. I think a lot of truck owners are in that position where, you know, they have a, you know, 10 to 13 truck and they're thinking, you know, do I go to this you know, the new L5P or the new Power Stroke or you know the 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 new ram and it we kind of get caught in that position like you said where you've got these upgrades done to the older one and it's fun to drive and it does everything you want it to do but this new one <laughs> yeah has these other things my my ram is up for sale so if you know anybody you know it's one <laughs> hell of a truck <laughs> We'll make sure and tag you guys on here when we release the episode so you, if there's anyone interested they can get in contact with you right right yeah <laughs> I've been seeing also some sales. You guys have some huge sales going on right now. We do, yeah. Uh, Nitro-gear.com. Uh, everything is 10% off. And if you place an order over $1,000, you get 19% off. Well, that sale was actually set to expire on the 9th. And I just got off the phone with my business partner. We had decided to extend that sale through the end of the month. So, I mean, the sale has worked so well, um, even during, you know, the, this, this time of crisis right now, our numbers are up and, you know, a lot of people are taking advantage of, of the fact that they got this extra time. So we just kind of figure let's, let's do what we can to incentivize people to get those old projects done so let's 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 run a sale and it worked well let's just continue it on through the end of the month and yeah well and the i mean the the the, the way the the sale is working it's going to accommodate probably most purchases and so you know whether you got a diesel truck or you know a jeep or off-road rig or something like that then then you're going to be set up and i've been hearing that from a lot of companies a lot of people where they're saying you know i know things are really hectic out there but we're really busy there's a lot of people that are doing projects or vehicles that they're still breaking they still need to be fixed they still need upgrades and things done to them so that's great to hear yeah yeah it's, it, we we kind of were a little bit slower to to get to the scene with running a sale and you know it was one of those things like i, I didn't want to just offer up a sale just because everybody else was and you know ultimately it was like well we didn't want to see numbers fall off. So, you know, let's, let's, let's kind of incentivize people and, uh, it's worked. I'm glad we did it. So let's, let's continue it for a little longer. Right. I mean, um, one of the, one of the gear packages that we're actually seeing tremendous success with is our Chev Colorado and GMC Canyon gear packages, like the 15 and up stuff. I, I can't believe how well, our 410 and 456 gears have been selling for those vehicles. Um, finally, the Toyota Tacoma has some competition. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of crossover as well with uh, there's you know, like uh, construction company owners or people who are in the trades as they have different kinds of vehicles in their fleet, and they might listen to the Diesel Podcast because we're talking about a truck they have, but they have you know some Tacomas or some Canyons or Colorados or other vehicles that are in there where, you know, they experience those drivability issues as well. And so it's, it's always really interesting to see the crossover in the principles that we talk about to these other, these other trucks. Right. Yeah. Cause it's, 
it's not just your your 250s and 350s. It's all your your mid-sized vehicles, your Jeeps included. I mean, virtually anything can benefit from a gear ratio change. And the other thing too is a lot of people kind of forget about it. It's like, well, we keep talking about changing the gear ratio for better performance or better fuel economy. Well, the other thing that we can do at the same time is add a traction device too, because especially if you're paying somebody labor, that labor that you're paying to the shop to do it is the same labor you're going to pay to add a pause attraction. So why not do it, do it once, do it right, all at the same time, right? Do add that traction device, because the only additional cost would be the cost of the part, no additional labor, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, instead of just doing the gears and then going back and, and then doing the doing traction device. Doing a later. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. For our, our shop owner listeners out there, they, you know, they are, are having customers approach them and say, you know, I'm, I'm following Nitro Gear. I see what they're doing. I see the benefits to it. Your products are also at distribution companies for the automotive repair shops out there that they can access them through their traditional channels, or if they're not, they can call you guys, get set up with you and be able to order that way as well. Yeah, that is, that is true. Over the last uh, year, we have established our brand with numerous WDs. Um, that is actually, I'm glad you brought that up because we are going to kind of introduce a sale program for the WDs over the, the course of the next week or two as well, um, something that will benefit them, um, you know, during this, during this time, right, a, kind of a, a promo deal for the WDs. So that, that's, uh, that's coming out soon. That'll be awesome for, for those guys and the, you know, the, the inquiries they get. And I've also from, I had uh, Ryan Jalinas and Ryan Houston on not long ago. And this was before everything, you know, in the world happened, but they were talking about doing these, um, these seminars for repair shops. And, you know, at that time, you know, everything was going on. I think they were going to do them in different regions and stuff, talking to shops about your guys' products and ways that a performance shop can, take advantage of somebody bringing their truck in and saying, Hey, I want this turbo kit and you know, this CP three and take advantage of also installing the gears. And, and now the way I, I believe I understand it is, um, you guys are doing these remotely so people can, you know, stay in their shop in their home and be able to watch these, these, uh, like webinars or these seminars that you guys have online to help educate the shops and show them, Hey, you can sell these, you can install these. This is the products that we have and, and the ways to do it. Yeah, the, the plan was we were going to do a training seminar and, you know, get people to drive to our facility or fly to our facility and, you know, have a good time. Teach them how to build diffs, take them out to dinner, and, you know, just uh, a kind of a meet and greet and get to know our customers and get more people trained up so that they feel confident in the work they're doing on a differential. Well, plans changed and now we've kind of decided well let's let's make almost instructional videos that we can you know put out there on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all the all the social platforms of of our own shop guys explaining things step by step on you know how to set your pinion depth, how to adjust it when we change shims or add shims here what it does to the pattern how to set our preload, how to check change backlash, explaining the different tools necessary. And a lot of it comes down to, you know, our techs that do it every day, um, they have a lot of tips and tricks that we can provide that will make the job go easier for you. You know, stuff that the simplest little thing that you just didn't think of that they do all the time, you know, will, will make your life a whole lot easier when setting up your gears. That's going to be huge for, for installers to be able to watch the video and even pause it, you know, right when they're at that step and then be able to go back and watch it. And that's going to do a lot for, for these, uh, these shops to be able to do that. Yeah. I, I hope we can put this together. Um, you know, in a, in a relatively short time frame. That's awesome. Yeah. Should, should be good. Um, you know, who knows? Maybe even, 
maybe even make it something that we can market and sell. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, it was, it was great catching up with you, Jeremy. I know you're a busy guy. You got a lot going on, but I appreciate you giving us an update on things that you guys have been working on releasing and, you know, the sales that are going on and the, and the way you guys are working with, you know, end users and, and shop owners to be able to, you know, streamline this process and the install for your products. Well, excellent. Thank you for having me on. It's always good kind of catching up with you every, every few months. Uh, so yeah, let's do it again. Don't forget diesel fans. If there's any questions you have about a gear set for your truck, whether it's diesel, gas, Jeep, off-road rig, make sure and reach out to the crew at Nitro Gear. They're more than happy to answer, you know, any questions that you got. If you want to call in, send them a, a message or, or email, they'll get you taken care of. Till next time, keep the shiny side up. Keep the shiny side up.